Alrighty, this is level two at Wednesday Night Hop uh, in March, and Misha's gone this week, so Paul was wonderful and helped me out teach the class. Uh, so we did a quick view of different draw steps for the swing out. So we either did a rock step where we were close enough that we had the space <laughs> sorry, to do this easy rock step there, or a step where going directly forward on that swing out, or any time you want to do that. Uh, we covered swivels and specifically preparing on the seven and eight there. Uh, we took the over rotation of our swing out last time, where if we're in the line facing this way and we do an over rotation, one, two, three, and four, stepping behind on six for the follows, using that step five to, to plant your weight down and direct the follow to go around, and then specifically using the seven and eight to open up, and we've made it that much further around the circle. Uh, from there, we briefly detour to teaching Susie cues. Uh, with the right foot across, step, 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 and pops, which can be used. Da -da pop, right, left, pop, right, left, pop, right, left, pop, which then we used in switches. So from an over-rotated swing out, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, pop, da da, oop da da, oop da da, oop. And then getting out of it, we had this fancy one, or sorry, we can go to the space out, da da da, da da da, ba, hoo, ba. And we have much discussion about the rhythm of that. Uh, a little more clearly, on, as we're getting out of the rotation, of the swing out, sorry, <laughs> the two, Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This rotation, he's more linear, I'm a little more curved. Step. And then we had this J hook with the hand. Step, step, catching with double hands. And then we had this rock step with the gush. You want to talk about your J-hook? We unintentionally showed you two different <laughs> versions of this, which is totally my fault. So um, the, the two versions that we showed you were a six-count version and an eight-count version. Uh, so the six-count version um, looks from here like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, rock, step. And then there is an eight-count version, which is super easy. Also, it's even easier. It's longer, so you just do your normal footwork as if you're doing an eight-count Swing out. Rock, step, triple step, 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 triple step, rock, step. So again, those are the two different versions. We talked about six, and I think I demoed eight, so my fault I'm doing those two different ones. You want to talk about the hand? Yeah. So the, the hook um, comes on across the belt. So show it from a different side now. Rock, step, triple, and across. So it comes and it hooks back as my body moves the opposite direction. And that creates a little bit of a, a nice little wall of a tuck that the follows can um, roll off of. And so that comes directly on the count one. So for the lead's footwork, um, if we go through that. One, two, three, and four, five, six, triple cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're both on that foot. Three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Rock, step, triple, and triple out. I think that was everything. We also said we could just go right out of that with a pull. That too. Yeah, out of the switches. So emphasis was on maintaining a connection, keeping your shoulders in place, giving yourself the distance between yourselves as a couple to create that gush and the stretch at every every point you possibly can um, to make this all feel really good. Well, I think that was it. So more next week. Thanks.